Hi, this is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. In today's video of custom QuickBooks training, I want to talk to you about bank rules in QuickBooks Online. So what I have is my sample QuickBooks Online file. To get to the screen I'm currently looking at, on the left hand side of your screen, click on Banking, and that'll take you here. An alternative way to get here is to click on Dashboard. This is the view you see when you first sign into QuickBooks. On the right hand side, click on any of the accounts you see over here. So I'm just going to click on Checking 2345. That takes me to my Banking screen. At the top of my banking screen, I have three tabs. I have banking, I have rules, and I have receipts. What I can tell when I click on the word rules is that I don't currently have any rules set up in my QuickBooks, and I'd like to add some because I think it'll save me some time. Not just think, I know it'll save me some time. When I click on the tile, the blue box for my checking account, I can see I have one transaction to add. When I click on the box to select the credit card account, I have 142 transactions to add. The one transaction for my checking account will take me no time at all. The 142 for my credit card could take me a while. You can see where bank rules is gonna start to make sense and expedite our work. So the first thing I wanna to talk to you about is this transaction that's in my checking account. The transaction is business to business and then the suggestion is Bank America and that it should go to the Bank America credit card. When I click on the Bank America credit card and then I sort by received, meaning money received to the credit card, I can see 1019, which is exactly the same amount as this 1019 spent. You can set up a bank rule to make things easier. Um, I often do, or you can manually add them. The first thing that I want you to see before we do this is that when I'm in my checking account, when I've selected my to-do list for the checking account, and I know that I'm there because that's what I see here, and that's what's blue, I can see that QuickBooks is suggesting that based on the bank detail, um, Bank America online payment, it's suggesting that the money went to Bank America for the category of my Bank America credit card. Now, when I go to the Bank America tile, and I see this payment of 1019, QuickBooks is suggesting that this payment of $1,000 came from a mysterious account called Uncategorized Asset. I don't know about you, but Uncategorized Asset didn't make my credit card payment, I did. So when you see these suggestions, the first thing I want you to know is that they're suggestions, and the second is that they're probably not a great suggestion. So I need you to be the human and say, that doesn't make any sense, let me correct it. So in this case, I'm gonna click on add, and then I can say, where did the money come from? The money came from my checking account. Or if I don't wanna click on add, I can click on record transfer, and I can say the money came from the checking account. It's two routes to the same path. The other thing I want you to know is that ideally, one of these on the right-hand side, you should say add, and the other one, you should say match. Let's see how it's back to uncategorized asset. It's very unhelpful. So I like to make rules so that way I don't have to remember to do this. Um, and also it will stop giving me these unhelpful suggestions. So I, I try to make rules. And what I try to do is I try to always make the rule for the money going out. I can either make a rule for money that leaves my checking account or I can make a rule for when the payment is applied to my credit card. I can't make a rule for both because I don't want both entries to get added. I want one entry to be added that shows up in both accounts. So I'm going to say, you know what, I'm going to make the rule for the money that leaves my checking account and gets applied to my credit card. So I select the entry that I want to make the rule from or, or I want to base the rule on. When I get to this transaction, I say, okay, this is a good example of some of a situation where I would like to make a rule. I'm gonna click on the line, expands the category. I'm gonna to go to the bottom underneath the word bank detail and click on the blue hyperlink in the lower left-hand corner. 
it says create rule from this transaction. I'm going to give it a name. This is a name for me to find it in the list. Right now I have zero rules. Imagine if I had 100 rules. I want to make it really easy for me to find. Um, so payment from checking to B of A credit card. This rule applies for money out and it applies for my checking account. So the only time I want this rule to apply is when money leaves my checking account. And then when the transaction meets all of these conditions, that starts to get very, uh, I don't know, restrictive. So business to business, anybody with a Wells Fargo account knows that that, that is how all automatic drafts will start. So that's a terrible description. And I don't always pay this amount of money. So that's a terrible description. So I, I realized that I'm stuck. I need to come up with some words to tell QuickBooks, please do this thing when appropriate, but not willy nilly and not all the time. So let me take a step back. I'm going to click cancel. Do I leave that saving? Yes, I do. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to look at the bank detail. Now I can see that the bank detail has this information. So I'm just going to select the first little bit of information because I think this will remain constant. I don't know if it'll always say 1908. I don't know if it'll always say ACH 20. And I bet this is a confirmation number. So I'm just going to select the first part, the part that I think will remain the same. I'm right clicking and I'm going to choose copy. I'm going to go back to create rule. So we're starting over, remember, because we click cancel. Um, payment from checking to be of a credit card. And really, the words can be whatever words makes the most sense to you. So I'm just going to trash can that. I'm going to change this to say bank text. And I'm going to say contains and then paste. So you remember from looking at that description a moment ago, the word in the bottom of the gray box was the words bank text. If that's what it says, that's what I'm going to use. And then I'm copy and pasting. I'm not typing it because there's a very good chance that I wouldn't type it exactly correctly. So when this happens, take this action. It doesn't matter to me if it's an expense or a transfer because it's two roads to get to the same place. I'm just going to select transfer because I think it'll make more sense and click in your brain. So I'm transferring money out, out of the business checking account into the B of A credit card, and I know that it's the B of A credit card because on the right hand side the italicized text says credit card. So that's how I know that QuickBooks says, okay, this is your credit card account. And then the memo. Sometimes I like to put a memo in, so I'll say created from rules. I do that not because I need to know it, but because in case I see that I keep making mistakes over and over again, this will remind me if I made the mistake or if QuickBooks made the mistake and I just forgot that I made this rule. I then have two options for how to run the rule. I can say to auto categorize, which is what we're telling it to do, and automatically add or manually review. I always have people start with manual review because I want you to get comfortable with what's going on. Once you're comfortable, you're, you can always come back and say auto add. So then I'm going to click on save in the lower right hand corner. So now when I go back and I look at my checking list, I can see that there's a rule, and I know that it's a rule because it has the word rule in front of it. There's a rule in my category or match column that says transfer to B of A credit. If I click on this line, I can see the bank detail, Bank America credit card payment. I can see what QuickBooks is suggesting that it's going to do based on the rule that I've created. QuickBooks is suggesting that it's going to transfer money out of the checking account into the B of A credit card. The memo is created from rules. If I'm curious about the rule, I can see the name of it, payment from checking the B of A credit card. Once I'm happy, I can click on record transfer. You'll get in the rhythm where you can just look at this and say, that's a rule. I don't need to investigate. I made these rules. I'm happy with my rules. And you can just click on the blue transfer. So multiple routes to the same place. When I click on the credit card, this is a funny thing that happens. And I don't mean funny, haha. -ha. You and I both know, because we just spent a few minutes looking at this, that this 1019 this is the payment. And not only do we know it's the payment, it's already in the register. If I click on this, go to register. 
in the upper left hand corner, I'm going to filter. I'm going to say from 815 to 820. Apply. And here it is. So you and I can, we both see that this payment is here, but for some reason, QuickBooks isn't finding it. So when I click on banking, if I choose transfer, or if I change this and I say, this money is coming out of my checking, do do do, and I click on record transfer, I'm gonna end up with this payment being recorded twice. So let me go back to the register, take a look. There it is, it's in there twice. If you create a rule, you say, okay, in my office, what I'm gonna do is I'm always gonna record payments to my credit card as a rule coming out of my checking account. So your checking account, you got the all done, you've processed everything. You get to hear for some reason QuickBooks isn't identifying that this is already a record within your QuickBooks. You can always tell it to find a match. Magically, there it is, it found the match. And you can say, yeah, please save. And now when it saves, it's, it's connected those two. And if I go into my register, I can see there's only one transfer here.